nice little structure here, right? Now, this is just a wall, but I'm going to use the ice light in a way that you probably haven't seen it used before. I'm going to illuminate from the other side, bounce off the wall, and it'll actually be even softer than it already is. So let's do that. So hold that with your left hand. Come behind the wall there, darling, for a second. Okay, can you illuminate the wall? Turn your face more that way, a bit more. Chin down, and then lean towards it. That's it, David. You see how now the light is even softer because we're bouncing it off the actual wall. Um, of course, I'm hiding it from my perspective, and life is good. I'm shooting at 800 ISO, daylight white balance, 1 20th of the second at 2.8. And turn your face more left, darling. Perfect, don't move. Tilt this way. Eyes at me, darling. Okay, so an obvious place um, to basically use for as, a, as a background. Now, here's what I think most people will do. It, get the whole tower in there. If you try to expose for that clock there, it's way different to that there, let alone a different color temperature, which is not, not really a problem. All I know is that if I try to get that exposure right, this exposure, it'll look crazy. You're not gonna get perfect detail on that clock and there and on the face. So my suggestion perhaps, yes, you can just shoot loosely, and try to fix it up afterwards in Photoshop, or just isolate that background, and I'm gonna crop the actual top of the clock tower off, and just use that warm highlight in the background as my background. Let's do that. What I want you to do, just do this for me. Perfect. Gorgeous. Now, turn your body a slight touch. Beautiful, and then face back this way. Gorgeous, lean forward, chin down, and eyes where my hand is, up there. Beautiful, hang in there, gorgeous. A little bit warmer in the eyes. Face more left, gorgeous. Hide your left hand, darling, underneath your arm. Your left hand. That's it, just there. Beautiful. Beautiful.